and so we we can we we've got to know that the Jesus we believe in is the Jesus of Scripture because if it's not we're actually putting our faith in something which just will not hold us up in the final day that's right uh, uh, television programs on the History Channel Discovery Channel or even on the BBC will not save you if they're about Jesus right right uh, neither will the latest trendy book even if it is a bestseller right. the only Jesus that can uh, restore the, the broken link between us and God is the real one I mean so in this sense this links in very much with last week's program where we were dealing with biblical discernment one of the things that we have to discern is not just what's wrong we usually use discernment in the sense of of discerning something that's wrong mm -hmm. but we really do have to discern what's right we have to see the Jesus that's revealed mm -hmm. in the script and say that is the one alone that yeah. I, I am going to to believe in. So for those for those people who are watching today who uh, wouldn't say they've clearly come into a, a Christian faith, a, a personal knowledge of Jesus or whatever, uh, the place to go is to actually take the words of Jesus from the Gospels. Right. I don't care which of the four you read, okay? Whichever one you can understand best. That's right. Yeah. P pick it up, find a Bible translation, I'm happy to, re happy to recommend if they ring and ask, pick one up and read it beginning to end. Uh, a gospel. For those who are Christians, um, you, you will hear all sorts of uh, words on the breeze, winds of doctrine, strange teachings that float by. Um, the historic creeds of the faith, the, the clear, which, which all they do is encapsulate what's taught in the Bible anyway, uh, the clear centrality of Jesus. It's, it's him we're believing in. Whatever other people come up with, however kosher they may sound, however grand their titles, uh, we need to trust in the, in the Jesus revealed by himself in the pages of the Bible. Mm -hmm. So it's vital we get back there. Uh, Absolutely. And, and, and when we hear messages today that talk about a Jesus, mm. even talk about the Jesus, yeah. we've got to go back, as we were looking at this week, again, to check it out for ourselves. Absolutely. Is that really what, what's being said? Absolutely, yeah. Um, and you, you've mentioned it already, potentially, you can be in touch with a different power um, because 2 Corinthians 11 of course does go on doesn't it because these people that were coming as you said preaching another Jesus whom we've not preached or receive a different spirit mm -hmm. which you've not received or a different gospel which you've not accepted later on down um, Paul actually says to the Corinthians verse 13 of 2 Corinthians 11 for such men are false apostles deceitful workers disguising themselves as apostles of Christ and no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light yeah. so potentially if we accept the wrong Jesus or accept the wrong gospel or accept the wrong spirit as mm. it says in 2, 2, 2 Corinthians uh, 11 4 we potentially could actually end up with the angel of light Satan and not the God Jesus Absolutely. And in fact, the, ver the verse straight after, in verse 4, it says, um, uh, uh, verse 3, uh, I fear that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your minds may be corrupted from a complete and pure devotion to Christ. Mm. So at very least, it will corrupt your Christian faith. Mm -hmm. At very worst, it will rob you of ever truly knowing, firstly, the truth and the one who is the truth. Yeah. who is of course the real Jesus that's right so it's very serious um, and therefore as we look as we will develop this and we will look at some of the quote Jesuses that yeah. are being portrayed today yeah. some by people that almost really don't believe in Jesus yeah. at all yeah. through to those that probably do believe in mm. in Jesus but want to give us a, a, a different one the message again that we're, we're giving to people is please be very very careful and check this out mm. that you that your worship that your you, the worship of and your faith in is on the Jesus who is the one that is seated now mm. in, in in heaven and praying for us and and That's reaching right. out to us and 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 wants us to come and and, and be with him indeed and, and 
in one sense, for people who already believe the Bible, who've put their faith in Jesus, the, the, the teaching that's out there is r fairly easily recognised. It's the stuff that circulates around the church yes. and uh, has a, an entree into different types of churches, some prominent Christians, which is only subtly wrong, yes. or where the language... It's a bit like some cults will use language, which sounds just like ours. That's right. Uh, but they mean something completely different by the words that they're saying. Yeah. Even the word Jesus yes. will mean something completely different to, to someone who's bringing false teaching. And they're being consistent to their belief, but not being consistent to what the Bible teaches. Within, within the Christian world as well, uh, clearly we're not talking about um, errors of like, people who don't believe in Jesus, but within the Christian world, you've got, I think, an imbalance sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so, w whereas... Bible-believing Christian, evangelical Christians, will react to those who try and demote Jesus. Uh, our, the reaction sometimes produces two different things. It can produce a belief in, in a Jesus who is God, but not really fully man. And when I was younger, I remember being taught that. Really? That, yeah, yeah, you scratch Jesus and underneath is God, you know. But it, it wasn't like that at all. And the other error is something which is particularly... And I'm charismatic, so I can say yes. this. Well, other people can't, but I can. Within charismatic stroke, particularly Pentecostal circles, there is an era known as Jesus only. Yes. Where um, they confuse some biblical language and get their idea of Jesus and the Father uh, wrong and straight away from mainstream Christian faith. But maybe we can begin there, uh, actually, because um, I've, I've had an email, and we'll open up the phone lines and emails in just a moment, uh, that, but just use this one, uh, first of all, um, that actually, b because I mentioned we were doing this yeah. uh, the, the, this week, um, was indeed on that very issue right. of Jesus only, and very concerned, uh, this person has had some bad experiences with Jesus only, and I remember... Um, I did as well, um, not personally, but people I was dealing with, mm. uh, we're going back uh, 25, 30 probably years ago, um, people that had been baptized in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit were told mm. that they had to be re-baptized in the name of Jesus. And some of those people, if not most of those people, as a result of that went into some pretty spiritual darkness yeah. um, as, yeah. as a result. That's one issue. The other thing that, uh, that, that the email brings out is that, that, that some of these people that believe in, in, in Jesus only um, says that they put the word manifestations instead of persons. In, mm. in the, so a normal statement of faith was the person of the Father, Son, yes. and the Holy Spirit. They put the word manifestation in. Now that's changing things slightly. Isn't it? So I'm Changing things substantially. Though. <laughs> thank you. What is the... What are the dangers, if we accept this, mm -hmm. what are the dangers, as I say, I, can you explain what the spiritual darkness was? Can you explain what's happened with mm. people that have gone down this route? And obviously these are concerns some of our viewers. Yeah, there, there are two issues, aren't there? There is the actual belief itself and whether that is correct or not. And then what, what appears to happen to some people when they go down that route. Um, one is you can be more objective about, the other is much more subjective. On the business of the belief itself, um, uh, it, it, it doesn't fit within mainstream Christian understanding. It certainly doesn't fit into what the Bible says. Uh, and when, and when, when Christians um, struggled to clarify how they understood who Jesus was and his relationship with the Father, they, they came up with uh, teaching the Trinity which compiled all of what the Bible said. Yes. Uh, never in one place, but all right, of what the yeah. Bible said everywhere, together. And um, Jesus only makes the mistake of saying that uh, it's a bit like, some people say the Trinity is like, I am a father to my son. Hello, Mark, if he's listening. I am um, a son to my father. Uh, so I can be different things to different people. Well, that's incorrect. God's not like that. Mm. Because the Father sent the Son. Right. Uh, so the Son was on earth, the Father was in heaven. Yeah. Um, Jesus returned and said he would send the Holy Spirit. And, it, and it in, of course Jesus isn't here now. He is here, but he's here by right. the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Um, so that's, that's the, that, the first